Here at Clopa Stratton, we're all about keeping it 100. So we've had the good news, now here's the bad news. Near North is not looking good. The, t the detached single family, so the single families in Old Town um, and Gold Coast are down, pricing is down 28%. Closed sales, now the closed sales are down 37%, but it went from 16 to 10. So there's not a lot of transactions on the, de on the uh, detached single families. New listings though went up 23%. This is not good. So we went from 88 to 109 in listings. So we went up 23% inventory. They went down 37 in sales. And then we went down 28 in price. This is no bueno. And then, um, so that's kind of when we're, when you're talking about something looking bad, that's the detached single families in your north, not the other areas that we've talked about in other, in other um, videos. But now the flip side is the attached single families. These are the condos in Old Town, the Gold Coast, near North. Um, you know, we're talking about um, the Cathedral District, which would be like 21 Huron, 25 Superior, all that area is actually looking good. Um, we do have a decrease of 2.6% on new listings, but we're talking about 4,300 new listings to 4,249. I mean, this is a rounding error at that amount. And the sales were down 17%, which I think is substantial. The next thing we're gonna hit on is the attached single families near north, so the condos. Kind of the same thing we have in the single families, but less damaging. You've got new listings down 2%, 2.6%, which is good, because the less listings, they can sop up that inventory. The problem is, is the closed sales are down 17%. So you're definitely gonna have a little bit of an inventory build up. We'd like to see those numbers switched, right? So you wanna see new listings lowered and then closed sales higher so that we kind of sop up that, uh, that inventory. Pricing's pretty much I mean, down 5%, which isn't anything to sneeze at. That's 415 to 395K. Um, market time, is up 21%, which is a lot, from 94 days to 114 days. And you basically have flat 0.9% on the original list price received. So the near north is by far the softest spot out of everything that we're gonna be talking about from the south loop all the way uptown. Near north is taking the biggest part of the punishment. I personally think that it's happening from a lack of people wanting to buy second homes in the city of Chicago and looking at other avenues. Could be for taxes, could be they're retiring and they don't wanna be in this horrific weather sometimes. But Near North is definitely taking the, uh, the punishment in the city of Chicago.